What's up, Jam players? It's Phil Dimmel and Rob Flynn from Machine Head. Right now, we're going to show you Aesthetics of Hate from 2007's The Blackening. That's right. This, uh, this song was the third song that we wrote for The Blackening. First song was uh, some riffs that Phil brought in, slanderous. Next was Beautiful Morning. And then this one came about because it was like, we need to just go fast, 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 fast. And uh, you know, this song was originally, what was it originally called? The He brought it to us and says, I just written the Thrasher piece. <laughs> it, owes a, uh, it owes a huge debt to the band Exodus, uh, a lot of Bay Area thrash worship going on in this uh, song. And uh, yeah, it came about, you know, pretty simple. I mean, it, it came about kind of just, we started jamming it, it fell into place. It had a different ending for a while. We had this like really bad ending for a while, but uh, it went on some cool journeys. A lot of cool guitar stuff came out of it, uh, especially in the middle section, which we'll, we'll show you all that stuff and break everything down for you in uh, the simplest terms. What's the song about? Song is about, uh, so we were on tour in 2004 when Dimebag got murdered. And six days after Dimebag got murdered, uh, an article came out called Aesthetics of Hate, uh, Rest in Peace, Dimebag, Daryl, and Good Riddance. And uh, it was written by a website called The Iconoclast, very conservative website, and it basically went on to, to slam Dimebag and say that he got what he deserved, that uh, he reaped what he sowed, and that, you know, slammed metal fans and metal people and basically anybody that liked him. And it was such a, it, you know, well written. It got picked up by a lot of major news agencies and CNNs, and and uh, we were pissed. I mean, we were very, very pissed off when we read that article. And this article is essentially uh, a response to that guy taking the title of his article and throwing it back in his face. Uh, a lot of people have said that the lyrics of this song are, have accused us of having very Neanderthal and childlike lyrics for this song. And I hope you burn in hell. <laughs> yeah. And I would agree. I would absolutely agree. It is a Neanderthal burst of anger, and it felt really, really good to sing these words. So right now, this is Aesthetics of Hate. 